that looked like and disassembled it to a point and then didn't and then did and then didn't. ready for the day. I just finished doing some makeup as you saw and I'm going to update you on what we're doing today. It's a very exciting day. This past weekend my husband and I went and test drove a car. I have some video. It's heartbreaking to even share it though because I didn't get it. I actually was asking them if they can like hold it or uh, like how do I make sure no one else comes and snags it because they were closed on Sunday and we went and looked on Saturday and then Monday morning I get a call from them and they said it's sold. I'm like, how is that even possible? Like you guys were closed and they're like, yeah, we're sorry. And they didn't really explain how or why, but the car sold. And it was like, I thought the dream car, like what, exactly what I was looking for. I really like Land Rovers. I know that not everybody is going to agree with that. I feel like when it comes to cars, people really have strong opinions about cars that they love. And because if you have a good one, if you get a really good one uh, at any point in your life, then you become like ride or die for that car. And that's how I feel about Mazdas. I've always felt like Mazdas were really good cars and Toyotas. And I grew up with those cars. My, my dad, you know, we had a Toyota growing up. We had Volkswagens growing up, which is what I have now. And they're sturdy, they're sturdy cars. Um, I feel like even my dad, who's a mechanic would be like, don't get a Land Rover. <laughs> that I'm just not gonna listen to anybody. And I hope that I don't regret that. But I've always wanted one. They're luxurious, they're well-made, they're beautiful. I just think they're cool cars. I'm looking for thrifted luxury. I'm looking for a used car. I'm looking for, unfortunately, because of my budget, it's gonna have some miles on it. It's probably gonna be around 80 to 90,000 miles, which, you know, a lot of people get brand new cars and don't have any miles on them like my husband and for me it's like well i like used cars i like you know i'm a thrifty girl i like when something's been gently loved a little bit because it takes the pressure off when something's brand spanking new and really expensive i'm intimidated by it and i think it's just because i'm like i'm gonna screw it up <laughs> i don't want i don't want that kind of pressure the pressure is off when it's like used and the miles are already kind of put on the car and i can just zip around town in it i really don't go places a lot and if we do commute or go anywhere on road trips we'll just take my husband's car because it's like a brand new car and for me i'm fine with just a little around the towner like i'm gonna pop over to trader joe's type car from time to time i drive up to seattle for makeup and i just need something i can easily put my makeup kit in the back and drive up i also want something that when i'm thrifting if i want to get rid of furniture or buy furniture or switch out furniture i want something that i can fit stuff in and not see things at the thrift store constantly that I'm like, I have no way to get that home. I also think that um, I just need hauling for hauling things in general. So as you know, whenever we do the backyard, like vine and bluebell overhaul every season and I have to rent a U-Haul every time I do that and I have to rent a U-Haul truck. So we want something that can pull a trailer behind it and then eventually I want to get a really small compact camper and do a little road tripping and I need something that can pull that. So without getting a truck because I want something I can put my makeup kit in and do some traveling in, I have narrowed it down to wanting a kind of smaller compact SUV. If I can find a compact, I, I don't feel comfortable driving a really big luggy one. Like I need something just kind of like dainty and cute and sweet and little. <laughs> so I'm gonna go test drive a couple today. I already test drove the Land Rover. It was a 2012. It had more miles on it than I had wanted, uh, but the price was eh, kind of okay. It was a really cute car and someone snagged it. 
someone snagged it. So I'm really sad about that. But then it also made me realize I don't want the roof rack and all that crap. And I don't really want, it was a big car. Test driving it, I was like, this feels like pretty big to get behind. It has a V8 engine, you know, it's a Haas. So you're up to date and that's the deal. That's what's going on. I'm gonna show you my outfit and uh, we're gonna drive a little ways. It's not too, too far, but it's not in town. So it's up, it's up towards Seattle and we're gonna test drive a couple of vehicles. Hopefully, you know, maybe one of them works out. Okay, I'm laughing because my camera sometimes when I get in a really big ramble will just turn off almost as if it's telling me to shut up because it knows that I'm going to hate it if I have to edit a ramble. It's going to get deleted. So why even bother? I think it just makes me like get some things off my chest and then I just delete it. <laughs> but anyway, this is the outfit. This is a little Ralph Lauren shirt dress. I've had this for ages. I took the tags off, finally decided to put it on and take it for a spin. This was in my store for sale actually and I've taken it back out of my store. That happens a lot. I end up like shopping from my own thrift store, but I love this. And actually it's not thrift, it was brand new. So it's actually never actually been worn. Like it's never had its moment. So I'm giving it its moment. Uh, this is, yeah, a little red number with, uh, I like it the way it looks buttoned all the way up with this jewelry and little louis bag i am wearing jeans look well they don't really count these are jeggings like stretch pant jeans and they're high-waisted and they're so comfortable so to me it's all about comfort i'll wear jeans if they're comfortable and so i'm fine <laughs> i'm gonna be okay this is super cozy i am gonna have some kava because that really helps with the I-5 anxiety. I made some last night knowing I was gonna be doing some driving today. Let's give it a little try. I did a uh, kava that I strained myself last night. It took about two hours and then I like massaged it through. I need to get a kava sleeve. I think that's gonna be better for like milking it. <laughs> Cause you have to like massage it. It can't just be like tea where you steep it and then drink it. It has to, you have to activate the kava and then drink it with something that has like a fat in it. So coconut milk is usually recommended. I didn't have any, I have oat milk. I don't know if there's enough fat in oat milk to activate the kava, but um, it'll work, it'll work. <laughs> it's fine, you can drink it by itself and it's fine, but the best way, I guess, to drink it. And I will share how I make my kava once I figure out the perfect way. So if you have anxiety and you're somebody who, um, really struggles driving without like having intense anxiety, this might be something you enjoy um, because it really helps me a lot. And it's actually, I feel like, because when I have it and then plus tapping, I've been doing tapping when I drive. So I'll be just like going down the road and I'll just tap. But anyway, the Kava I feel like has really been helping with almost kind of undoing this whole situation that has come to the forefront in the past few years. Mmm, that's really good with the pumpkin spice. Yum. I'm about seven minutes away and I'm listening to a podcast called Scamanda. Slate Apothecary, the gal who is a friend of mine who makes handmade soaps, homemade soaps, that I sold in my store. I still have some for sale on my website. Hey! <laughs> Uh, we have the cedarwood and spirulina soap is still available for purchase if, if anybody wants some. I would love to ship out some stuff if people are wanting to shop, but um, that is not why I turned this on. Scamanda, she shared it on Instagram. Oh my God. This woman had scammed people for years for their money to donate to her because she pretended to have cancer. There's a special place in hell and the next set it's just i am blown away by this story i am on episode four right now if anybody's looking for a new podcast scandal go listen to scamanda it's so good but we are close we're six minutes away i just had to pull off at a gas station two of the location addresses i was given for this place the first one came up and it was a abandoned parking lot creepy and then i rerouted to another address i found for this place and it took me to a cornfield 
So, I then was driving down the road and saw the sign for a place that is the same name of where I'm going to look at the car. And it was so sketchy that I just kept driving. We're off to a different one. I already know that it has the interior that I love and it's white. So it has, it has some things going for it that I do like. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go look at it because I'm getting frustrated. I'm trying to find a car that ticks all the boxes and has everything. Turn right onto South 277th Street. It's gonna be, I think, the biggest challenge. Like the mileage that I am looking for, I don't want it to be over a certain amount. And the price, obviously. I want a white one with tan interior so bad. The one we went and looked at was white and it had a black interior and I, it was fine. I was willing to go with it just because I loved the car so much, but it was a little bit, bit on the big side. So I haven't driven the Discovery yet. I'm gonna get back to Scamanda and it looks like I'm about 14 minutes away from this other place. And this is a like real dealership, not one of those dinky ones. Um, so it might be worth just looking into it. We're in the new car. Oh my God, and this rain. I guess we'll see how it handles. Oh my goodness. Here's the back. And it's got one of those cool big roofs. Wow. What do you think? Uh, I do like it. Just needs detailed. I mean, I did not know we were test driving in this. Like, just sucks. parking lot because they shut it out they they close this parking lot off so it's really hard to figure out how to get out of it okay he figured it out <laughs> I just keep seeing him driving all over it looking like a charlie charlie's angel drop him i'm about to put on some lashes and i thought i would show you the ones that i ordered recently i think i even mentioned it in the last video that i was ordering these and I just wanted to show you which ones I got. So as you saw, did I, sh I don't know if I showed that yesterday or not, but when I was doing my makeup, I was trying to put like brown eyeshadow up here and you can still see that stupid line from this orange eyeliner. I actually am holding on to it in case I have like an actual really big problem with it because, but I think it's going away now. I actually do think today it's, it's on the way out. Thank goodness. I was like, is this permanent? Did I like permanently scar my face with this? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put some new lashes, some fresh lashes back on. These are the only lashes that I can wear now at this point. I'd rather just put those on my lash, not my skin, so that I don't have an allergic reaction and they work out great for me. So I am an affiliate with Lilac Street. It's something that anybody who does makeup or I don't know, anybody can apply. So I just, anybody, I hope you guys know that, that like, being an affiliate doesn't mean you're just some big time influencer. It just means that you applied, you show them that you have a blog or that you have content that you make that's like makeup involved and then they either approve you or deny you. And if they approve you, then you get to uh, add links for like to try, attempt to get a cut from whatever referral you're doing of their product. And I only apply to things that I use and enjoy. <laughs> so there's that and they did eventually start offering some of us codes so the code I think is Sienna 10 and there's a link below and that's if you want to try them out yourself so it's a first time purchase not 10% off on any purchase if you've already used them but if you're new to it and you want to try them you get 10% off and they're great so you can wear them from 7 to 10 days is about how long I can get them to last Okay, so 14 millimeters in the Hollywood. These ones appear to be, have I tried the Hollywood? Are these new to me? These look a little bit more cluster. Look like they'll be a little bit more like this, <laughs> like doll-like. I got some originals. I haven't used these in so long and I just wanted to like remind myself 
what started it all because these were the first ones I ever tried and they're just really natural and really simple. Then the Uptowns, those are fun for a little bit more volume and wispy drama. See those? They're just like, those ones are really full. And then the French Lace, these are kind of my OG favorites. These are very similar to the Hollywood. They look kind of like clusters. These are a little bit more spaced out. These are a little fuller than that, but yeah, I, I don't remember. I don't remember those ones in particular. So now I have to decide what I want. Should I try the ones that are new? Maybe I'll do that. And then I like to use the Pro Black Glue. That's my favorite. And I've already curled my lashes, so I don't think everybody does it this way, but what I like to do is apply it to the lash. So I get a nice amount on the lash, and then I also put it on the little weft. I just brush a layer of glue onto my lash the same way I would like apply mascara. And then I just apply the smallest amount on the lash band it's pretty quick to set so you don't have to really let it dry the same way you do lash when you're doing strip lash you have to like let the glue dry this isn't the same it's really quick so I get it on there right away and I start by hitting the root letting it kind of grab the glue and then I squeeze it just like that. I get on the closest to the band as I can and I kind of like roll them out so that I don't tear the lash. It's just as easy as that and I make it look easy but I'm telling you the first few times I wore these it did not go quite so easily. I had a few nightmare situations but I like the look of that. It looks really good. So I'm going to do the other side, put a little lower lash mascara on, and we're going to talk about where I'm going. All right, and there is the finished look. I like these. These are cute. I like a little bit more of like a fluttery lash, not too big, not too little, very Goldilocks. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do right now, I am going to head to Bath & Body Works. They have these visor clip air car refreshers. I'm thinking mahogany teak wood because that's my favorite one. What does my new car need to smell like <laughs> is the question. And then we're going to go get it. So we got the car. Have I even said that yet? We got the car. We signed the paperwork. It's mine. I'm so excited. I could, it was like Christmas last night. I just kept like thinking about it and dreaming about it. I can't wait. We were supposed to get it tomorrow morning, but they said it might be ready sooner. So I'm <laughs> I'm getting ready for it. I'm ready to go get it. I want to drive it. I want to drive it all week. I can't wait. I really, this is a long time coming. I've been driving compact tiny cars for so long that I can't believe the day and the time is finally here where I have a vehicle that I can load things in and put my makeup kit in comfortably, get in and out of it, load the dogs. I it just, it's going to be such a game changer. And the panoramic roof in that thing. That's my favorite part is the panoramic roof because that means that the lighting in my car is going to be really nice. So there will be so many car vlogs coming up. So many. My car is used um, and it's got a pretty good amount of miles on it. So I'm not getting a new like expensive car. It's It was really affordable. It's actually going to be the same pr payment as my current car. So even then it's like it wasn't that, it was just, I swapped it out basically for just something bigger. And this car is perfect. It's a compact SUV. It's called a Discovery and I'm going to call it Disco. But I've been in the position where I've had beaters. I've had really bad, terribly falling apart pieces of crap cars before. And I actually did a whole thing on it on Instagram. I got all these old ads from these cars that I had back in the day. One had a f hole in the floorboard. One was just this like clunky grainy car with like 250,000 miles on it. And then I've been driving tiny compact new Beetles back to back. I had a yellow one, paid it off, traded it in for this. And then now I have this one, which I'm now trading in to upgrade yet again. Can't wait to go get it. <laughs> I love the interior. I feel like it matches me. On to the next adventure. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that this normal thrifting and blog project week of excitement usually <laughs> is all overtaken by the new car situation. 
it's all I'm thinking about and doing. But this is what, this is what I get. And it just clips onto the visor. And then this little thing twists off and open. And then this fragrance is what you fill up. Okay, my battery's gonna die. I'm gonna share this quickly. I was good, I only got three. <laughs> but I love the little car fragrances. So this is one of the refills leaves. It's a like classic autumnal fragrance. Love it, fragrance. <laughs> then I got two new ones that I'd never heard of. I love the mahogany teakwood and they had it, but then I saw mountain teakwood. So this is like mahogany teakwood, but pine and I love pine. So this might be the first one. And then now, I don't know, this one. I love apple, anything apple. They had mahogany apple. So it's that kind of like sexy man fragrance. You know what I mean? Cause that's what mahogany teakwood sounds, smells like a sexy man. This is like a sexy man covered in apples. <laughs> So that's what I want my car to smell like. I want my car to smell more earthy and woodsy. What dude? <laughs> So I'm talking to a camera on my car. Who cares? All right, battery's dying. Let's get going. I was so overly excited about the car that I totally forgot to get a new fresh battery for this camera. So you guys did already see the inside of the car and I showed the roof, but they detailed it. And I just put the apple teakwood in this and I'm going to put it on the visor. I'm gonna have to figure out the new spot to film in this car because I don't know where to put you guys yet. <laughs> like, I used to stick you on the dash, but that's not gonna work now. Uh, we've been driving it around. I basically picked it up pretty late. It was like 5.30, almost six o'clock by the time we grabbed it. And then there was so much traffic heading back. Pulled in, put the dog seats in, buckled them in, even though both of them jumped out of their seats. Look how cute they look in the car though. <laughs> it has some cool features. So it does have like a heat warmer. I say for like a 2015, it's it has a lot of really updated features, like way more than my car, really similar to what my husband's car has, and he has like a 2022 car. So it's just, yeah, for being the year that it is, I'm surprised. It has like backup, like the rear backup camera, which is so nice, because I've always loved that about my husband's car and i've wanted that for myself um it has like all these different terrains that it can go in and apparently this car is really good in snow so that's good it has this like both sides can kind of gauge the temperature they want so he can make it whatever he wants i can make it whatever i want and then apparently there is supposed to be a rear air conditioner for the dogs but we have to figure out how to use it i already showed you the heat uh i've already connected my phone so the bluetooth works so i can listen to music it's got the automatic start um this stuff i haven't even figured out what any of this does yet the fact that it's detailed and it smells so good in here because of also like my little this guy it has like a soft close glasses holder which is really nice uh, this closes, so like if I wanted to <laughs> look at their curious little faces about that. She doesn't like it. She said, Mama, I don't like. <laughs> Tina doesn't like the... <laughs> she doesn't like that. Do you bark at it? Yeah. I was showing... My, my buddies here on the YouTube, all the features of the car, since I actually haven't even had a chance to do it yet. All right, we got burgers, we got some dinner. We're heading home. Well, that's not gonna work. There you go. Hello, good morning, it's the next day. I look like a piglet. <laughs> yeah, I woke up feeling a little bit groggy and really concerned that maybe I was getting sick. And that's never good, especially when they're saying the COVID numbers are back up. So I'm going to take a COVID test just to make sure. I, anytime I start to feel like any certain way symptom wise, I'll just take one just for good measure. And we have a lot of them because when the Washington State 
health department was like sending them out I signed up and then I signed up for my husband too because I thought maybe I was only gonna get enough for one person but they were sending enough for the household so I got like twice as many as needed so I have so many COVID tests he's telling me that his ball is under the couch and he's gonna growl the entire time until I get it okay Marvin which, which part show me okay Thank you. Thank you for pointing my little Shih Tzu Retriever. My Shih Tzu Retriever. You got it? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have my smoothie. I also heated up a little blueberry muffin and I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm just gonna eat lots of nutrients in my body today just so that it's healthy, but it really feels like allergies. But look what came. Awkward. The science of why we're socially awkward and why that's awesome. This book is a refreshing reminder that uniqueness and eccentricities are strengths, not liabilities. A gift for everyone who has worried about fitting in and being judged by other people, entertaining and practical. I'm actually really excited about this book. I have always been socially awkward. I still feel that to this day that like if anybody watches my YouTube channel and then they meet me in person that like I'm not who they expected me to be because I am not like this when you first meet me, it takes a long time to get me to this level. So you guys get to bypass all the awkwardness. <laughs> when I meet someone for the first time, I'm really weird. <laughs> I'm excited to give this a read and if I learn any tips, I'll share them with you. But the book was $2 because it's used. So you know me and my used stuff. <laughs> Even my car is used. <laughs> I like used. I like to know that people have already enjoyed it for me to enjoy it. But um, yeah, um, yeah, I'd like to just get back to me, a, a normal me. Anyway, I am so babbling. All right, well, the good news is I'm negative. If it was positive, the T line is supposed to be filled in. But it's making me feel super under the weather. Gotta get motivation. I just wanna lay. I just wanna lay on the couch. I actually am gonna start uploading the files and pre-editing this video just so that I can do something productive while laying on the couch watching crime thrillers.